started. Um, I am, welcome everyone. Um, my name is Bernadette Trafton. I'm a founding Ruby ambassador with Wakaya Perfection. And today we are going to talk about social media. And I am bringing on my sponsor, Miss Annie Shralinek. And she's going to talk about what not to do. And I am going to mute out because um, I've got lots of people who are trying to get enrolled with this promotion that's going on. And I'm going to on that while Annie is talking. So what you see on my page right here. Um, and then we're going to talk afterwards about how everybody can set up their own page. So Annie, I'm going to mute and I'm going to turn it over to you. You got it. Hey, everybody. Thanks for getting on the call tonight. I know that everybody's crazy busy, including me and Bernadette. So we're going to go through this quickly. Uh, take notes, but if you don't want to take notes, don't worry about it. You can just send me a quick email and I can shoot you my notes. And what I'm going to talk about is using social media to market your business. There's just a couple basic things that you need to know before you can get started. First of all, guys, remember one thing. Relationship is king. That will never change. People still and always will want to do business with people that they feel connected to, people they feel comfortable with. And that's why they want to be in a group. They want to be connected. So understand that, that Nothing will ever replace that one-on-one -on -one relationship. Number two, the number of followers someone has is a reflection of how interested others in, are in what they have to say. So just think about that. If people have a ton of followers, then it's because they like what, what that person is saying. If somebody only has a few followers, then maybe they ought to start saying some different things to get more followers. Number three, there's no automatic way of sponsoring. Nothing's going to happen automatically or without human contact. And if it does, it's going to disappear just as fast as it did happen. So don't think that you can put your business on autopilot and let something just do everything for you. That's not going to happen. Long term number four, long term businesses are not built through mass recruiting. They're built through getting solid relationships and solid growth growth with a handful of really, really good people. So find who your good people are and just work with them. Like we always say, work with the willing. But you're going to build a, a, not only a big organization, but huge isn't always the best. You want it to be solid. And the way it's going to be solid is if you build your relationships with a few key people and then go from there. Realize social media, number five, social media has the power to create relationships, but also it has the power to destroy it. And I think everybody on this call, whether it's happened to them or they know somebody it's happened to, we all know that. People will stop following you if you're not interested in things they are or if you say things that offend them, if you have conversations they don't like, and at the very least, they won't do business with you. So with that intro, now I'm going to go on. There are three things you never, ever, ever do on your social media. And I know there are people that are going to argue with me on this one. And guys, you can argue, but I'm going to tell you, do not promote your business on social media. Now. You can set up your business page and do all you want there. I'm telling you that. That's fine. But in your regular social media, your regular Facebook page where everybody talks and, you know, hey, how you doing, da 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 that's what it's supposed to be. Keep, if, if you're one of those people that's always promoting something, think about it. If you only get a few likes, well, maybe it's time that you look at what you're, what you're posting and you'll understand why. 
You don't want to get people annoyed, and if you continue to get them annoyed, um, they're going to just, well, what do you call it, block you or stop following you, and then you're never going to have a chance to do business with them. I see this all the time. People are always trying to sell their product on social media. And that's not what Facebook especially was set up for. Guys, think about it. Every single person on Facebook does something, whether they're a school teacher or they're, they're an electrician or a doctor. We all have some kind of occupation. Just think what Facebook would be like if all everybody did was promote what they did for business or for work. It would be pretty boring. And people wouldn't get on it. So realize there's a difference between selling your, prop, your product on uh, social media or just telling stories that can add value. Guys, if you lost 30 pounds, um, say, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just lost 30 pounds and this is the best thing that ever happened to me. Guys, do you know how many people just with that little sentence are going to ask you how you did it? So you haven't said anything at all about your business. You haven't mentioned the company. You haven't mentioned a product. You've just told a story. Remember, we always say stories, yeah, whatever that is. You know what I'm, going, what I'm saying anyway. Facts but you tell, tell stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. Story sell. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I just did that to make sure you were listening. Um, so realize that if you have a, a story like that, that's awesome. Um, and don't hesitate to put something like that. People like to hear those kind of things. And, you know, that's a, that's a really good thing. Think about this. Say, and I'm not talking about anybody on the line now, so don't, don't worry about it, but there are people, not necessarily in our company, that maybe on Friday you're going to see a post that says, hey, this thing today is really exciting. Quick, watch me, join me. There's an awesome deal going on, and it's perfect time for you to join me. Don't hesitate. Message me, call me, da 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 that you post on a Friday. Then maybe the next day you might post, I'm looking for 10 men and women who want to make more money while working from home. I need you to call me right away. And then maybe you might post something like, oh, nothing beats taking my vitamins in the morning. I feel so much better because I've got all these great vitamins and superfoods, and you need to take them too. Call me and uh, we'll talk about my detox. Or maybe you might post, hey, who wants a free da-da-da-da? This is what I'm giving away, free cookies from my company or something, whatever it might be. Guys, realize that if you do this with your business, all you're going to do is aggravate people. Because people are going to say, oh, every time she's on, all she or he does is try to promote their business. And and that's not what it's about. You want to develop the relationship based on the people that are following you, wanting to follow you because they like you. And when you develop that kind of relationship, people then are going to want to do business with you. Because people want to do business with people that they know and like. So don't start off by offending them. Realize, just, you know, Go out and, and network and, you know, just develop the relationships. So that's number one. That was don't market your business. Number two, don't argue on social media. Okay, I just slapped myself. <laughs> there are certain people whose names might pop up in every argument. Every time you post something, there's always somebody that has to disagree. And it doesn't matter what you post. You could post something today and they could disagree. And you could post the opposite tomorrow and they're still going to disagree. There are just those people that are always looking for an argument. Don't do that. 
realize, yeah, I know it's real tempting, especially now with the election and so much stuff going on. Um, there are so many things I want to say and type all day long. Just if you're that tempted, walk away from your computer. You've got to stay out of it. Social media is about making friends. It's not about getting into arguments and creating fights with people. That only creates enemies, and that's not what you're on social media for. Number three, and this I know I'm guilty of, and I'm sure some other people on this line are also guilty of, don't post or share about topics that maybe people don't agree with you, such as religion or politics. You may have a really strong opinion, and they might have a really strong opinion. And that opinion might not agree with yours. Well, you know what? If you start posting your opinions on social media, then if the people you disagree with, and face it, we can talk about the election. If you stop posting that you want Trump and a whole bunch of people you know like Hillary, they're automatically probably not going to do business with you because they don't like Trump. So think about that. If you get on social media and start getting into strong topics like religion or politics, be careful because you could run the risk of destroying part of your business, part of your business that you don't even know you have yet, that hasn't even started yet. If you want to discuss things like that, guys, keep it offline, you know. Take it off. Take it in private message. You can do that very easily. But don't go and post crazy stuff. Now, one thing, I was uh, at a class for somebody, uh, a social media marketing expert, and one thing that he said not to talk about on social media, and this really surprised me, and it was sports. And I thought, man, we all talk about sports, you know. He said, you've got to be very careful, because if you make yourself known to be um, a fan of one team, and somebody else doesn't like that team, people will not do business with you because of that. Now, mentally, they're not saying, oh, I'm not going to do business with Susie because she likes the Baltimore Ravens. But in, inside, subconsciously, that does happen. So think about things like that, too. If you want to talk sports, I mean, there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, that was a great game. I was on the call today, this afternoon, and somebody from Denver was there. And Denver had an awesome game yesterday. So I didn't hesitate to, to say that to him. Hey, great game. Congratulations. But you don't want to say, oh, man, you guys. And, and again, I'm not talking about us. I know we don't do this, but there are people that do that. So keep that in mind. So realize what, you, what is it you want to do? Number one, don't post business stuff. Now, if people ask questions, take it offline, private message, absolutely. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to eventually be developing these relationships. Number two, don't argue. And number three, don't post about topics that could be, I don't want to say controversial, you know what I mean. But anyway, so those are the three things that you should never, ever, ever do on social media. Now, I'm going to do five things that you can do on social media, and these five things are going to grow your business. After I finish telling you these five things, Bernadette's going to come on, and she's going to tell you how to set up the pages so you can start doing these five things. Number one, get to know people. Just like in real life, face it, Facebook is real life. Um, all Facebook did is make the world a much smaller place. But ask people how they're doing. I mean, how many of you have connected with somebody that maybe you haven't talked to in 20 or 30 years? Well, hey, what have you been up to? Where do you live now? Oh, do you have any kids? All that stuff, that's awesome. 
There's nothing wrong with that. You know, just as if you were with them having a conversation. Remember, relationship is king. So have conversations that you would if you were sitting down having a cup of coffee with them. If you see that somebody has accomplished something, acknowledge it. You know, start a conversation. Hey, I see you got promoted and you're the head of your company now. Congratulations. How long have you been with them? Whatever. But people like that kind of stuff. So just start conversations and get to know people. Number two, join groups. Find groups of people that you have something in common with. You know, and those type of those people talk about things that you like. You guys are going to laugh, but I'm in a couple coupon groups, and I'm in a white German shepherd group, and I'm in a adult coloring groups. So all these things, find what you like, and then join groups, and then you're going to be talking and networking with people that have similar um, likes as you do. And that's how you're going to develop new relationships and friendships. Number three, don't be afraid to ask them to connect offline. Hey, if this is somebody that you're back and forth talking and, you know, it starts to get crazy, you say, hey, let's take this offline, uh, private message me. And when you get to the private message, if you want, exchange emails or exchange, exchange cell phone number or however you want to connect. But don't be afraid to do that. That's okay, because if you're getting deep into what's going on with somebody's life or they're getting deep into yours, maybe it's somebody you haven't seen for a long time and you're trying to catch up and they've been through a whole bunch of stuff and they decide they want to tell you, guys, take it offline. That's okay, and this way it's, it's a more personal call and you're going to develop that relationship a lot better. Uh, number four. Document and celebrate all aspects of your life in an interesting way. Post things daily that others are going to be interested in and want to follow. I have a crazy life. Sometimes I put it out there. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes people share things that are fun and interesting. Well, keep in mind, think about that. If you do something really like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Don't hesitate to put it out there. It's okay. Um, I'll never forget one thing that I posted one morning is I just, it was just one of those mornings. And I wrote, oh, good morning, everybody. Don't you hate when you go to get your coffee from your, you go to your Keurig, you push the button to make your cup of coffee, and then you go back a couple minutes later and you realize you never put the cup under there. You now have coffee all over your counter, all over your floor. Well, face it, some people would be embarrassed to admit they did that. I, you know me, I could kill us. Um, I got a lot of laughs on that one. But what was really funny was how many people responded and said, oh my god, I've done that. So don't hesitate to do things like that. People like to hear things like that. People like to hear when other people goof. Because everybody messes up, and if, you know, they know that everybody else is doing the same thing, then it's like, oh, phew, I'm normal. I'm not crazy. So think about that. Document and celebrate stuff about your life in an interesting way. You know, make it, make it fun. Make it interesting. And do things like that. And number five is look at uh, your friend's um, walls and see what they're celebrating. You know, maybe they just became a grandparent. Now, of course, you're going to hear that from me. Or maybe they just got a new puppy. Or maybe somebody in the family just graduated college. Whatever. But look on their wall and see what they're doing and see what's important to them. And then comment on it. You know, people love when you comment on pictures and stuff. I'll go back on people's walls and look at stuff maybe that they posted six, seven months ago because it was important to them. Just because time has passed doesn't mean it's no longer important. And I might just, you know, I just might see a photo and say, oh, this is an awesome photo, you guys. I really like it or whatever the case may be. And now that's going to make that photo come 
up front to them, and they're going to say, oh, wow, Annie liked that photo. I, I forgot about that. I posted that a long time ago. And people like that. So don't hesitate to do that. You know, check, check things out. See what other people are doing. And I'm going to close with this. I'm just going to tell you what's good, um, really quick, good things to post. Post kids playing and laughing hysterically. I don't know anybody that will not click on one of those laughing baby videos. Everybody does, because it's hysterical to see a baby laugh. Um, wild animals walking through your backyard. A crazy lightning storm that you got a picture of. Um, somebody getting an award on stage. A, a costume party. Maybe a blooper of you trying to make a video. Anything. Um, you know, things like that. Those are all good posts. And what not to post. I'm having a sale on my product today. I'm looking for five motivated people. Are you one of them? Who wants to try my product this month? Hey, if you sign up with me today, I'll throw in. Our company is giving away a month of free stuff if you sign up right now on an auto ship. Call me right away. Guys, those posts are boring, and I'm telling you, and you probably don't want to hear it, but you will use, lose followers. People will go away. And you don't get on social media so that people go away. So with that, I'm going to wrap up my end, and now I'm going to bring Bernadette on because, let me tell you, she is the master at setting up all that social media. And yes, I told you what to do and what not to do, and now she's going to tell you how to take advantage of everything we just talked about and make it so that you can work your business through social media without really posting your business on social media. So with that, guys, let's give it up for Bernadette Trafton. Um, and uh, just so that you know, I I um I kind of um I don't know. There's a couple of things on what you what you said that I do, but I figure I've been doing it for such a long time that, <laughs> that people expect it. <laughs> I never when I first got started with Facebook, I did. Yep. I didn't use it as a family and friends thing. I, I've always just used my Facebook page, my regular Bernadette Trafton Facebook page for business. I've only ever posted um, stuff about my real estate investing group, stuff about whatever company that um, I'm involved in. So, but I think that, that historically, because I've been doing it that way for such a long time, that people expect it. But don't, that doesn't necessarily mean that everybody else should do what I do. Um, you know, just because it says I have 2,690 friends up here. We yeah, but they're not, and, and remember when we talked about, we weren't talking friends, we were talking followers. Right, right. Because there is a difference. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You, yeah. So, um, um, keep that in mind. Really? The amount had what? The amount of people ha, uh, who follow me has actually gone up since I started doing those videos. So awesome! <laughs> those what, those three minutes a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the little. That's awesome. Little, um, you know, sometimes they were six minutes, but they were, you know, thirty days. Yeah. Thirty days. I passed my thirty days. Yeah. days. I, I took the weekend off, and um, and today off. Uh, I'll start doing some tomorrow again. But that's a really good thing to do. And the reason that it's a good thing to do those um, Facebook Live videos is really because people, um, in order for them to do business with you, they, they need to get to know, like, and trust you. And it's so much easier to get to know, like, and trust you when you're actually talking to them. Um, you know, and they, you can be goofy, you can be silly. Some of them I was a little bit goofy. Some of them I was a little bit silly in. Um, Andre Vaughn did one where he was sitting in his closet and he was, um, 
eating food and said, oh my God, I can't help it. I work for a health and wellness company and here I am in my closet eating my my <laughs> It's okay, I got my Kayla here and my, my little Kayla constitutional, so um, you can be silly and goofy in them. Really, it's all about for people to get to know, like, and trust you, and if they can get to know, like, and trust you, then they're going to follow you, and, and then they're also going to follow you in business. But I wanted to make sure that everybody on the line, and um, raise your hand as you go along if you have questions. Now, I don't know, Monty, do you have a question? Or I just unmuted you. I'm not sure if you have a question. Okay, you have to unmute yourself. No? All right. If you have a question, do me a favor, guys, if you could type it and the little question mark thing will come up so that, um, that I know that you have a question. Now, some people were asking, how do I tag someone? So I'm going to go over a couple of Facebook things really quickly just so that people know um, how to do certain things. So if you want to tag someone, you're typing a post, hello out there. I'm just putting this and then I'm going to X out of it. There's a little tag button right here. And then you can start typing in like if I want to tag Annie, her name comes up. If I want to tag Billy Drilly, the president of the company, his name comes up. Tag whomever you want here, and then you can post, okay? Um, and then once you post, it will it will work. Now I'm going to go over here, and it's going to say, leave this page. Yes, I want to leave this page. It pretty much deletes what I, what I started to write. Um, if you want to set up, and I recommend so that you can, oh, there's another one of my pages, so, so that you can um, promote your business comfortably on Facebook. Here's how you do it. You come to your regular news feed screen right here, and you look along the side. Yours might not be as big as mine. I'm part of quite a few groups and stuff like that. I have a few different pages, so they're listed here in, in my favorites. But it's real simple. All you do is come down here and you click on create a page. You're going to say, do I want it to be a local business or a place, company or organization, a brand or a product, an artist, a band or a public figure, entertainment, cause, and or community. So you can click whatever you want. Um, some folks are clicking on brand or product on a personal level um, just because of the training that I do and I have a website that says my name, BernadetteTrafton.com. I included it as a public figure. Um, so, but you can do whatever you want. So for the purposes of this exercise, I'm just going to click on brand or product. And then you go down here and you figure out, it shows you exactly, you know, board game, electronics, food and beverage, health and beauty. If you're going to do brand or product for Wakaya, you're going to want to do health and beauty. And then you can put Wakaya Perfection. And then you can get started. This page already exists. Okay. Um, how about Bernadette's Wakaya page? Okay, so once that's there, you can list about, you can come up with your Facebook, um, Bernadette's Wakaya, all things about Ginger, all, let's see, all things to help you detox, hydrate, lose weight, and feel great with Wakaya Perfection. If you've got a website, um, you can put in your website. And then you save the info, and you can add a profile picture. You just go here, 
maybe you want to add, you know, add a picture that's here. Notice I've got quite a few. I'll put Bill and I. Um, and then next is add to favorites. Add, add to favorites so that it's on the side over here where it was before. And then um, next, who's my preferred page audience? So you can populate it. I want everyone in this location. So do, am I looking for people who are just in my specific vicinity? Do I want people who are in um, New Hampshire? and Massachusetts because I want to deal with people who are local. If you don't, you can just leave it national, 18 to 65. I want people who are interested in health and wellness, um, maybe people who are interested in Weight Watchers, dieting, fitness and wellness, nutrition. You can go in here and click whatever it is you want. If you are, happen to be a lucky person who speaks in more than one language, you can put, you know, you can put the languages that you want in here and then you just save it. And voila, your page is up and ready. Okay. Now you want to add a cover to it and you can create your own cover if you want to. You can put one of the, you know, one of the covers that are listed in the Wakai page. You can do whatever you want here. Now the key, once your page is set up, the key is that you have to season it. Okay, I know that's going to sound silly, um, but really, you're going to need to post like two to three times a day in order to start gathering a following. Now, if you've got people who you know are interested in this kind of stuff, who you're friends with, there's a button right here just so that you can start getting some people to like your page. You can go right here and you can say, I want to invite some of my friends to this page. I'm not going to click on anybody because I already have my own my own page, Bernadette Trafton. Um, but if I wanted to, I would go over here and I could invite whatever one of my friends on here that I wanted to who have told me that they're interested in Wakaya and they support my business. I can go in here and like it. You can do this with the people who are on your team, um, the people who are in our team Wakaya. There's, you know, like 135 people in that group right now. So you can certainly get people. And then you can also share it out to people. Hey, folks, do me a favor, like my page. So um, so that, that your friends will like your page as well. You want to add a button. Add a button is, you know, contact us, book now. You can shop now, and you can put your website in here. And create, so that when people come here, they can shop. There's other buttons if you want people to contact you or to do those kind of things, okay? Um, if you want to add a street and an address, you can. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if you want to add your phone number or if you want to get like a Google number to put in there, you can do that. You can add your hours. Whatever you want in the About section, you can do it. Um, but really, the key to this is if you're going to post um, post something on Turmeric, um, it's good to, to post a couple of different things. Like Annie said, Post some silly stuff on there too first, you know what I mean? Or post pictures of kids or you want to get somebody liking your page and liking um, 
what you're doing, post something with little cute animals on it. Because if you post something with little cute animals on it, people are going to like it and they're going to go there. Um, so that you can season the page. Now, there's a couple of different things that you can do once you're once you start to season your page. Now, I want everybody to understand if you're going to do this, plan to post at least once a day, um, so that you can in, in, encourage engagement with people. Because regardless of whether it is your um, you know, regardless of whether it's your Wakaya page or whether it's your personal page, Facebook was set so that you could build relationships with people, um, you know, who are across wherever they live. They don't live in the same place as you. And so that you could interact with family. Annie said, um, you know, isn't it great having to, isn't it kind of cool finding people that you haven't seen on here and, or you haven't seen in a long time and you can find them on Facebook. Um, I actually found out that I had a nephew that my brother never knew about um, and uh, his mother reached out to me and said, I don't know if you remember me, but, and by the way, um, I have Steve's son who is now 27 years old, so it's kind of cool. I, I got to, I got introduced to my nephew who I had never met before, and my brother got introduced to his son who he had never met before because of Facebook. So, very, very interesting. But the key is that that it's all about interacting with the people who are on here. Now, if you are on your phone, see here where it says status. If you were on your phone there would be some little buttons down here. One of them would say, go live. I go live with Facebook all the time. If you don't feel comfortable going live with Facebook, um, that's okay, but I do encourage you to do videos. Now, one of the things that you can do when you do videos, and then I'm gonna, if you guys have questions, please ask me. Um, but if you do go live, I encourage you to keep a um, YouTube channel going as well because they're all going to go back to your website. So it's really simple. If you've got a Gmail, you automatically have your channel page. Um, go to my channel. Every video that you do on Facebook Live, you can upload to your YouTube channel. And as your YouTube channel gets seasoned, more and more people are going to start following you on YouTube, and that way you're hitting a couple of different areas of social media, okay? Now, if you go live, the easiest way to get this video to your YouTube page is to right-click. It's going to say pause, unmute, and show video URL. You go, you click on show video URL, it comes up here, just control C, and then you open up a new browser, and you control V, and where it says www, you take that out and you put an M, and it brings you to a section like this, and then you start, you get it to start Hello, playing. Facebook. Huh. I'm not going to make you watch that. You right click again and you save the video as. And it brings you, you see I have a whole page of, of the 30 day challenges that I did. And you can call it whatever you want and then from there you can upload it to your YouTube channel. Which is just a side note, but if you're going to do videos you might as well get a YouTube page going as well. Um, your videos can be silly, um, that kind of thing. When you're doing your page though, um, go ahead and, and go live right from your page. You, you can do that. You can go right on your phone and you can open up your page and you can go live right from your page. Um, but the key is to start seasoning it. Now, the last tip I'm going to give you before I kind of open it up for questions is if you're looking to get people to like your page so that more people will like your page, you know, sometimes people don't like pay. How many people like this page? Oh, it's only like 10 or 12. I'm not going to like that page. Oh, it's only like 40. I'm not going to like that page. There's um, a place you can go to. It's Fiverr. F-I-V-E-R-R dot -R com. 
and you can get pretty much anything that you want um, someone to do for you at Fiverr. Um, I don't know which. It's this one. Oh, I can log in with Facebook. Sorry, should have done that in the beginning. Okay, so you can get any and uh, uh, pretty much anything you want on Fiverr. Fiverr, f i v e r r dot com. I will promote your website to my forty eight hundred personal friends. It costs five dollars. Really, it costs six dollars um, because they charge you a dollar application fee. I will promote your page uh, or website on my 4,900. So these are people, you don't, that doesn't mean you're going to get 4,900 likes on your page. If you get 100 or 150 out of someone who's got like 4,900, that's a lot. But for five bucks, you know, the people, only people who are going to like it are the people who have actually got an interest in what you're talking about. If they're into health and wellness, then, then they'll like it. Not every single person is going to do it. If you're having a website, they'll, they'll um, design uh, logos. There's pretty much you can get anything done on Fiverr that you want to get done. So that's just a tool that I use occasionally when I'm trying to get certain things done. Um, but it's always best if when you're growing your page, you do try and grow it organically. And the best way to do that is through your own personal warm market. People like on my page, I don't invite my family to like my per my page. I know that sounds silly, but my family and I have a long uh, headbutting relationship when it comes to businesses that that, that I've started. Um, they want me to promote them, but they don't want to promote me, so we kind of just stay away from the, the business subject, um, <laughs> if, if you know what I mean, kind of the crabs in a bucket theory, if you will. Um, that So I, I tend not to involve anybody in my family. This is more something that grows organically as people are searching. One of the things it's good to do, I didn't do a great job today when I was um, putting information about uh, the Blitz call. It's good to hashtag pretty much everything so that when people are searching, like maybe somebody's searching Diary of a Serial Entrepreneur or Where's Your Bula, that your stuff comes up in the post. So that's what those hashtags were. The hashtags pretty much they started originally with um, with Twitter, but they seem to have been carried over to Facebook. So it's a good idea to use those hashtags in everything that you do. And if there are things that you're posting that you want people to um, you know like or comment on them, you can tag people in it. You can tag me. You can tag you know, whatever. I've got it set up on my personal Facebook page that people can tag me, but they can't automatically post to my page. And you can set your Facebook up the same way. So if you look, I've got an activity log with 10 or more. And really, that's people who are wanting me to, you know, they're people who are wanting me to add stuff. You know, they have, or, or I've liked it, or Timeline review, review 403 items. So a lot of people tag me and stuff. It doesn't mean that I'm going to add it to my timeline. And But you can set it up in your, um, I don't know where it is. Hold on. Let's see. If you come over to the more section and it's in your settings, I believe. Uh, oh, no, three little dots. Timeline settings. So you can set who can post on your timeline. Review. Do I want to review posts or do I just not want to be able to be tagged? I've chosen to um, review posts before I add them to my timeline, which means that people can tag me. It just it's not going to automatically go on my timeline. Um, I can review what other people see on my timeline. Um, who can see the post that you've been tagged in on your timeline? Um, who can see what others post on your timeline? Only me. That way, if I don't want somebody like posting crazy pictures and stuff on my Facebook page, they're not going to be able to do that. So 
you can take care of doing those kind of things. And you can also, there's also timeline and tagging that you can set up on your, um, on your business page as well. So um, I think that that's pretty much all I've got to go. My brand, except that I'm going to go in here and I'm going to see if I can delete this page because I don't need it. And I just did it for the purposes of showing you guys how to do it. You can also, just so that you guys know, you can also promote your page um, through Facebook. It, you can set a budget. I only want to spend $10 over the next couple of days. I only want to spend $20 so that you can promote your page and, um, and get likes that way as well. So, does anybody have any questions about all this stuff before before we um, before we jump off? Is anybody listening to me out there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I don't see any questions coming across. If you guys have any questions and you want. Um, you want a more one-to-one -one, um, kind of overview on how to set your Facebook page up and how to get this stuff taken care of, just reach out to me. Send me a you know, message in Facebook, email me, text me, whatever you need to do so that you can, you know, I can answer any of those questions that you might have. Um, do you know how to promote your business page for free? Um, the only way that you're going to promote your business page for free is to market it through your own, um, through the, the people that you know, you know. Um, otherwise, you, you're going to have to, you're either going to have to pay five or five or six dollars or you're going to have to pay Facebook. Um, you can, I imagine if you have, um, if you have a website or if you have, uh, you know, email people who are, um, that you have on email list, you can always invite them to come and visit your Facebook page. Those are the only three ways that I know. Um, Facebook is making it more and more difficult for you to um, promote your page without it costing money. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Cheryl seems to know of a way, and she'll find it for us, and we'll we'll put it out there for people. Does anybody else have any other questions, comments? No. All right, guys. Then we're going to end this for tonight. And if you do have any questions, um, everybody knows how to get in touch with me. Just reach out, and I'm more than happy to help you. More than happy to help you. Um, get your pages set up so that you can start promoting your business through Facebook. All right, guys, have a great night. And let's go, go, go on this promotion. <laughs>